how can self-forgiveness take shape in my life no this hurts <laughs> Today's my first video, so I'm a little nervous, but today I'm doing my self-care routine because I need to get my life together. I do. I need to reset. I'm going to clean my room. I've got some paper towels, wipes, glass cleaner, um, trash bag, because we're going to get it done. We're definitely going to get it done. <laughs> it's in need of it. I was in like a depressive episode or whatever, so I'm just coming out. You don't need to cleanse. But anyway, we're going to start with this section first. actually wash my face and all that but y'all seen me do that so now i just come back and stretch let go of the stress i had from yesterday the stress i built up overnight i don't know <laughs> This hurts. I haven't stretched in so long. You want to do this because we store stress in our hips and it helps, you know, stretch them out. No, this hurts. <laughs> this hurts. Oh, okay. We're going to have to do something else and work our way back to that. We're done for today. We're gonna let the sun in. <sighs> wow, my heart is actually beating from that stretching. Like, I need to stretch more often. I need to do a lot of this stuff more often. Because I deserve it. 
but I'm just gonna sit here, put on some meditation sounds. I can put on the screen the um, a picture of the sounds I use, but I just feel like you can use any sounds you resonate with, or if you're trying to um, like clear your chakra energy, balance them, or if you're trying to find your inner you. Um, like there's sounds for anything, so. This one is chakra healing and balancing because that's what I want to focus on. Yeah, so. Sit up straight and just breathe. And it doesn't matter how long you meditate, you're going to work your way up to five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. My longest was 15 minutes before, but I was like meditating regularly. I stopped doing all these things that I love doing, but I'm getting back to them. It's a new year. I deserve peace. <laughs> That's all I have to say. I deserve peace. Next is journaling. Um, I'm using this book. Today I affirm, I got this from Five Below. I'm pretty sure you can order it too. You can also just um, write in a notebook. That's what I do too. I actually didn't start using this book until this year and I got it for myself for Christmas two years ago. Yeah, but it really helps. So let's find a page. Okay, I think we're gonna do this one because I actually need help with this. This is self-forgiveness. I don't like this angle. I wanna move it closer. So the first question, I like to put the date. Today is the 12th. List the ways you've let yourself down. So the first two I have down. I'm just gonna be open and vulnerable with y'all. That's what I want this channel to be. Um, so list the ways you've let yourself down. My first one is disrespecting my boundaries. And that can that can go into many different ways of letting myself down but next is giving people who've shown me that they don't actually love me or they don't respect me another chance to show me again that they don't love me and they don't respect me and yeah that's definitely a way I let myself down because it makes you feel well it makes me feel like pathetic because I hold myself to a high sense of self i don't know i don't know but you know i'm just i think highly of myself so when i'm going through stuff that i think is pathetic like a relationship i just got out of one recently and it was very traumatic for me and so when i think back i'm like i really stayed during that i really put myself through that like no no you always have to put yourself first and just because i loved him I, I literally cannot make eye contact. I suck at talking about my feelings. But just because I loved him, that I had to love myself first and leave. And I did. And I will always be proud of that whenever I think back to the moments. Come on. Whenever I think back to the moments of, you know, what happened during that relationship, I can always come back to, at least I'm out of it. <laughs> at least I'm gone. I've definitely let myself down in other ways as well, but I can't really think of it right now. I'm not going to force it. It'll come to me when it comes. But I wanted to do this page because I actually have a problem with forgiving people, other people. I don't like to be disappointed. Um, I don't like when people hurt my feelings, whether they're doing it. Well, if I feel like they're doing it intentionally, then yeah, I really don't like that. And I feel like I need to get even or something or I need to punish them, punish them for not keeping their word or not doing what they said they were gonna do. Then I seen it, um, a study that was like, people who need help forgiving, they're hard at forgiving others. I literally can't talk, sorry. But um, it's because they have trouble forgiving themselves. So I have to look back and I do. <laughs> I really do have trouble with forgiving myself because in the time that I was in those situations, I knew I should have left or I just knew better. 
than what I did and it's disappointing anyways <laughs> so I just need to work on forgiving myself because I'm not saying if you stay in a toxic situation that you're pathetic that's definitely not what I'm saying that's just how I felt because of how I how high I hold myself but also another thing I struggle with is I don't give myself a break I don't let myself like be sad and like you know I don't let myself mess up basically and it's okay to mess up it's okay to learn that lesson because I learned it for sure how can self-forgiveness take shape in my life um I, I don't have any clue the only thing I can really think of is letting myself mess up sometimes and not belittling myself for it by example calling myself pathetic for what I was going through I don't know I don't know it's hard for me to get past that um because at the time I knew better I literally knew better so it's not like I could be like I didn't know better I had I did the things with the information I had at the time y'all know that saying but no <laughs> no I didn't I stayed I don't know obviously I still need help forgiving myself but I'm definitely moved on from that relationship um obviously not what I've been through but I don't miss the relationship I don't miss him okay so it's later in the day 6 48 and it's time to get cute <laughs> my corals are so overgrown and my forehead is a five head it is what it is I'm just gonna lightly spray them with water to like hydrate the scalp and i'm using this moisturizer i have too many hair products i'm just trying to get rid of um majority of them so i can get more <laughs> more that i actually like that i actually like put research in and stuff but yeah i put that right over my cornrows i make sure i'm getting my ends that are tucked under this is my pre-wig prep. Then I grease my scalp right now. I'm using Blue Magic because it made our hair grow when we was younger. So I need that. I'm going to need that again. Yeah, I know you can barely see my parts, but we're getting into it. Make sure going all the way back. Then I make sure I get this space under the braids because if you wear your hair in ponytails a lot at the top, then this this that's probably bald so make sure you're getting right there and i'm speaking from experience usually i use wild hair growth oil but i well i have another bottle i don't feel like opening it and this just like sprays so i'm using this but you know oil your scalp to lock in that moisture all right now i'm gonna gel my edges back because i don't use a ball cap i mean a wig cap for the ball cap method so I just gel my edges back. I have a big forehead, so I have enough space to put the hair there. Okay, you see the edges is back. Now we're gonna put the glue. And I'll be doing this quick. It's like not for my birthday or nothing. I'll be doing it quick. Still be looking good. Don't play me. I use a popsicle stick to smear on. And I'm not going to be wearing this wig long because I have an interview coming up, hopefully. So you guys will get a video on that too. I want to talk about how my room doesn't look clean to me. It still doesn't. And it's just because I have a lot of clutter. So I'm definitely going to do a declutter with me video because I need to do that really bad. <laughs> I'm actually going to film that after. That's going to be the next video. I've just decided. When this turns clear, completely clear, I put another layer, blow dry to speed up the process, and then, you know, put the lace on. So, I have my elastic band. Wow, I didn't even start the flat iron. I have nothing <laughs> set up. But this is my new flat iron I got for Christmas, so we're going to try it out today. I already glued the wig down because it's like hit or miss. It's hit or miss. You got to trust the process. 
and I didn't want y'all to get anxiety you know I'm looking out for y'all we're still gonna style it I do want to do straight because I usually always 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 curl my wigs but I have to see straight red I have to see straight red and we're gonna straighten that part out too okay so this is what it looks like I'm not sure if it's done heating up or whatever oh yeah it is because I also plugged in my hot comb but I plugged this one in first and my hot comb's done so it has to be done that doesn't really make sense to me comb it out maybe I should stand up should I stand up yeah I'm nervous. I don't usually flatter my hair. I want it to come out silky. I don't know what I need to do for that though. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I missed this piece. It fell out. Okay, um, that's literally still a curl, but maybe I missed it. Pass it, pass the hot comb through it. But yeah, what do y'all think? What do y'all think? It's moving. It moves. I hope the lace looks good. I'm gonna get some mousse. Only a little bit. I don't like to use a lot of mousse. I'm using this mousse wrapping lotion, whatever you want to call it, to get this back and to get the top flat I was thinking I want to start dressing up more even to just go to the grocery store just going out with a bonnet on hood up every day I don't like that I know I could do better than that the reason why I don't do straight hair a lot is because, like, it doesn't stay straight. Maybe I need to spend thousands on some bundles or a wig or something. You can see. So we see some glue, yeah. All right, though. For the most part, though, it's giving the girl scalp. And the hair's pushed back. Mm -hmm. So for my wigs, I use Eco. This is the best Eco, period like regardless, but it doesn't work for my natural hair. So I use straight on my wigs. I mean, I have to mix it with something for it to work on my natural hair, like a little snot. Hmm, do I wanna do like a f like three in the front or should I do two like on the side? I feel like I've been doing two on the side, but the one in the front to me is like baddie, like the middle part, that's down like. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't done that in a while, so I'm going to do that one. Push some hair out. This hair is too long, but I don't feel like cutting it. <laughs> So we're just gonna do the two on the side. I feel like I always do this side first and I did it this time and that's why it threw me off. We're gonna say that 
I'm gonna get my hot comb and flatten down like this long piece for the edge. We're gonna flatten that down. I'm scared. <laughs> it's good for the most part. And like I said, I'm not going anywhere. I just wanna feel cute, have my hair done a little bit. You know, the lace is lifting right in the middle. Now we're gonna fix this part. I just get a foundation that matches. My edges don't match. <laughs> And then we wrap with a silk scarf. And that's all for doing my hair. Let's do my toes. I haven't done my toes in so long and I love doing my toes. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys and I appreciate you watching.